Hi there. How are you today? Say hello to all my friends, Woodstock. <whistles> Do you know what today is for us? It's the start of Charlie Brown's baseball season. But first... That sound means that you should turn to page one in your book. Are you old enough to play any kind of sports? Or do you follow sports on TV or in person? I guess we're one of the most sports-watching people on Earth. Have you ever dreamed of being a big sports star? Well, I sure have. Come on, Snoopy. It's the start of a new baseball season. The rest of the team will meet us at the ball field. While the round-headed kid and I are walking to the baseball field, let me tell you a little bit about Charlie Brown's baseball team. I just know we're going to have a great season. I guess you know that Charlie Brown's team has a beagle at shortstop. <laughs> That's me. He has a girl in right field, Lucy, who's always talking so much that she forgets to catch the ball. He has a second baseman, Linus, who's always tripping over his security blanket. And Charlie Brown is both our manager and pitcher. Peppermint Patty is bringing her team over to challenge us today. It should be a great game. Now there's one thing I didn't tell you yet about Charlie Brown's baseball team. We have never won a game. Not ever. That's right. Can you believe that? This team has lost 976 straight baseball games. And one time, we lost 200 to nothing. There's the whole gang, Snoopy. Hi, everybody. Isn't this a wonderful day? The sky is blue, the smell of hot dogs in the air, the start of another season. I don't know what all the excitement is about, Charlie Brown. Baseball is supposed to build up your character, not tear it down like it does to us. We have lost more games, Charlie Brown, than anyone in history. She's got a point. But this year is going to be different. I can just feel it in my bones. There's nothing greater than the start of a new baseball season. Baseball is the crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd, the tip of your hat. Baseball is a great pitching match. That's what baseball is. You don't know what you're talking about, Charlie Brown. I'll tell you what baseball is. Baseball is dropping the ball, always striking out or taking a fall. Baseball is losing every game. That's what baseball is. The crowd. Taking up the tip of your hat. Always striking out. Baseball is a great pitching match. Losing the game. That's what baseball is. Win, lose, draw. Ooh. It doesn't matter as long as you got a pitcher and a batter. That's what baseball. It's a joke. That's what baseball. Oh boy, I can't wait to get started. Well, Charlie Brown, I hate to tell you this, but we have come to a decision. I tried to stop her, Charlie Brown. Uh-oh, this sounds serious. I can tell by the tone of her voice. What are you talking about, Lucy? We're quitting, Charlie Brown. We're quitting the team. Me, Linus, Sally, Pigpen, Rerun. We're all quitting. Uh-oh. You're what? Oh, no. It looks like the round-headed kid is going to faint. I better stand next to him so I can catch him if he does. She's right, big brother. All we ever do is lose. It's humiliating. It has been a pretty ugly sight, Charlie Brown. Now, instead of fainting, I think the round-headed kid is going to cry. I don't believe this. In fact, Charlie Brown, We've decided to turn your ball field into a picnic area to celebrate our freedom from losing all the time. You're going to do what? 
What in the world is that blanket for? We're spreading this blanket all over the pitcher's mound, Big Brother, and we're going to have a picnic. And I'll sit right next to my sweet baboo. I am not your sweet baboo. Say, they've all brought their lunches in a big picnic basket. Looks pretty good, too. But Peppermint Patty will be here any second with her team. If we're not ready to play, we'll have to forfeit the game. And I'll look ridiculous. It just saves a lot of time, because we lose anyway, Charlie Brown. Besides, there's nothing better than a good old-fashioned picnic. Well, she's got a point there. Let's pack our picnic basket with lots of things. A checkered tablecloth. Of hopes and dreams. And every snack. And soda. And sandwich there. We'll be filled up full with tender, loving care. Yes, life can be a picnic. If you take the time to fill your basket right. Life can be a treat. So open up and take a bite. One silly little problems have made you frown. Look for that picnic basket and take it down. Fill it with all your favorite things one by one. And your worrying days are done. Yes, life can be a picnic. If you take the time to fill your basket right. Life can be a treat. So open up and take a bite. Concentrate on the sunshine and, and we won't even notice he's here So anytime you're feeling a little blue Pack in a picnic basket's the thing to do Pick on the happy things and mix the bad Believe it and you'll be glad Yes, life can be a picnic If you take the time to fill your basket right Life can be a treat My team has quit, and they're celebrating with a picnic. Poor Charlie Brown. I feel so sorry for him when he gets that hopeless look. You gotta be kidding me, Chuck. We've lost over 900 games. We quit. I think she's serious this time. This won't do at all. You're getting mustard and mayonnaise all over the gloves and ball and everything. Ugh, what a mess. I've got a solution. Charlie Brown's just been taking on too much responsibility. He should not be both the manager and the pitcher. Why don't you make Snoopy the manager? He's your best player anyway. Me? Manager? This is my big chance to be a sports hero. Snoopy? Manager? Gee, I don't know. Oh, don't be so wishy-washy, Charlie Brown. Maybe Patty is right. We'll give it a try. I can't believe this is happening. Well, if it means that we'll get to play the game. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm going to be the manager. I guess I should thank Lucy for the vote of confidence. Here, I'll just put the baseball in my mouth and flip it to her. There. Ugh, dog germs. He slobbered on the ball and spit it to me. Ugh, dog germs. Get me a towel, quick. Say. Being the manager looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, come on, let's start the game. Let's see now. This rule book says we have to play five innings to be an official game. Now it's the bottom of the fourth inning. We're just one run behind. So if we can get just two runs this inning, we'll be ahead. And maybe we'll win our first game. Come on, Lucy, get a hit. 
Well, look at that. Lucy stopped talking long enough to swing the bat and get a hit. Come on, sweet baboo. Get a hit. Hey, Linus got a hit, too. And that puts Lucy on second. Come on, Sally. Now it's your turn. Get a hit. Wow, Sally got a hit. Now the bases are loaded. Who's the next batter? It's Charlie Brown. Oh, oh no! We're, we're doomed! Oh, boy. This is my chance to be a sports hero. All I have to do as the manager is to get Charlie Brown to get a hit. Well, here I go to the plate. I can either be the hero or the goat. This is your chance, Charlie Brown. If you can get a hit, we'll score a few runs and go ahead. Forget it. We're doomed. Charlie Brown, this is your manager speaking. Get a hit. Keep your eye on the ball. Be loose up there. You can do it. He did it. Charlie Brown got a hit. Lucy's scoring. Linus is scoring. He did it! He did it! Charlie Brown got a hit! We're ahead! We're ahead! We're finally going to win our first game! I don't believe it! Here I am sitting on second base! I actually got a hit! And we're going to win our first game ever! Boy, do we have a great manager! It was nothing. Uh-oh. What was that? Gee, look at those dark clouds. It looks like it's going to rain. Rats! It's starting to rain! Wow, it's really coming down. Oh, no! We'll have to stop playing the game. We're getting soaked. So we win! We win! We win our first game! Yay! Yay! We win, everybody! We're number one! <laughs> Sorry, Snoop, but I guess you forgot the rules. This is only the fourth inning. We have to play five innings for this to be an official game. This game is washed out, Snoop. It doesn't count. Sorry. I don't believe this is happening. She's right. That's the rule. We'll see you all later. Better luck next time, Chuck. Good grief. I finally get a hit, we finally are about to win a game, and the whole thing was washed out. My big chance to be a sports hero just went down the drain. Come on, Big Brother. Look at the bright side. You actually got a hit. Yes, he did. Well, that's true. I did, didn't I? And I have to admit that the dumb beagle here did do a good job of managing. I see two ways to respond to that compliment. Thank her or bite her leg. And even if we didn't win, we didn't lose either. That's an improvement. Well, anyway, the most important thing is we have our friendship. to us till the end we'll always be friends pals 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 we'll always be pals no matter what years from now somehow we'll always be pals even when we disagree we know no one's to blame cause in spite of our differences happens to us till the end we'll always be friends sometimes we say things we don't mean to say or do things we don't mean to do we end up hurting when all we really wanted was love and though we may act like a bull or a lion we'd stop if only we knew Best 
friends anyone could ask for. You too, Snoopy. I love you, my friend. I love you too. Well, we didn't win this one, but you know, we did come closer than we ever did before. We played better than we ever have. Charlie Brown got a hit, I got to be manager, and we all have high hopes for the rest of the season. All in all, a pretty good day for the gang. Well, I've got to go help Charlie Brown wash the mustard off his glove. See you around, and remember, keep your eye on the ball. <laughs>